Thanks, Dan Wittes and Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Time segment tonight. Fascinating story out of Seattle. The FBI paid for some advertisements urging folks to be alert for possible terrorist activities and promising rewards for solid information. The ads featured a variety of convicted terrorists full-faced. But the far left objected. You look at the pictures, they're all one color folks. Terrorists come in all shapes and sizes in this world. And if you're going to talk about terrorists, then don't just talk about people with brown skin. So the FBI caved and removed the ads because of the pressure. Joining us now from Santa Barbara, the sage of Southern California, Dennis Miller. And you say? I say McDermott's one of the biggest morons I've ever seen in the public eye, and he tightens that bolo tie up to hold the two grams of brain power he has in that thick skull. Listen, this is a definition of the two cultures. They blow up buses. We whine about putting bus blower uppers photos on the side of our busers, and if you don't back off it, idiots like McDermott will throw you under the bus. That's where we're at right now. We've done away with wanted posters, for God's sakes. Who would have thought? John Wayne, Randolph Scott, all that time when I was a kid, I was playing profilers and in indigenous Native American peoples. I thought I was playing cowboys and Indians. A photo is now considered racist. We have subjectified the empirical. It is sad to watch us turning into a mincing leviathan like this. And all I ask is, can we go after rap Radical Islamic jihadists with the same degree of vim and vigor we go after annoying Food Network host. How's about that for a start? <laughs> but you can. According to McDermott, there's a quota of I, people. I, how do you that... start a sentence with that? <laughs> McDermott is a mental chew toy. I can't even listen. To According to McDermott, McDermott's barely able to wind his watch and keep his elementary track clogged. What about the FBI caving in, though, Miller? I wish you uh, listen, Billy, I'm just a little sad. The fact that Jim McDermott is on TV, of course the FBI is going to close in, uh, or they're going to cave in, because they know if they don't, there'll be a picture of J. Edgar Hoover on the side of the bus in a miniskirt. So that's why they got to <laughs> back All right, off. but if you were running the FBI or if I were running the FBI, we wouldn't cave in, Miller. We would not no. only keep the poster on no. the bus, we would make it bigger. And put it on no, both sides of the bus. If I was in bus. charge of the FBI, I'd have a colonoscopy cam and Jim McDermott 35 hours a day. <laughs> All right. All right, now in uh, a small Florida town, 35 miles north of uh, Gainesville. I don't even know what that means. I don't either. Uh, Stark, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> they put I meant a... surveillance. I meant surveillance. Yeah, I, I, I got it, Bill. Um, <laughs> in Florida, they put. And a monument to atheists. Let's see that monument. Yeah. Let's show that Where monument. It? Okay. Where is it? It's Billy? a bench. It's a bench. Let me Billy. see it. 150 ah, pound beautiful. gray granite bench. This is the this is the monument wow. to the atheists. That looks as thick as Jim McDermott. Hey, you know, listen. At least when a pigeon craps on this thing, they can't whine about the pigeon being God's worst creation. Uh, they just want to put a stick in Christian people's eyes there. That's fine. That's what they do. Here's my fun. Here's the thing about secularists, Billy. Secularists always mock creationists as being naive because they believe in a God in heaven. Until later in life, when creationists bring up, like, the Darwinian law of survival of the fittest, and then... The, the secularists mock the creationists again on the back end and say, you should be more Christ-like. Up front, if they say they believe God invented the universe, they make fun of them for being naive. On the back end, if they cite Darwin, they say you're naive again. You can't win. Let them build the bench. I guarantee you, the unemployed guy laying on that bench under a newspaper five hours a day will be a secularist. <laughs> All right, you know this Jennifer Lopez. You're a big fan of hers, right? Uh, I believe you are. You know, no, you have she's all a her... talented girl. Yeah, she's a, you have all her disco records. Well, she goes to uh, Turkmenistan, all right, which I believe you, you vacation there as well. Um, and I she... go through Turkmenistan. It's my Atlanta hearts field. When I'm going over to Transit Are point. You Kidding Me, Stan, I stop in Turkmenistan. <laughs> right. Or I'm confused, Stan. That's one of my favorite places. <laughs> All right, so the China National Petroleum Corporation hires Jennifer Lopez for $1.4 million, about what you and I get for the Boulder Fresher tour. All right. right. She goes to Turkmenistan and gives a performance for the Chinese people 
hire her. And in the performance, she sings happy birthday to Gourban Goli Biede Muka Maya Dwaf, who is the dictator of Turkmenistan Wait, and a human rights Wait, who did she sing to? Billy, who did she sing to again? Gourban Goli Biede Muka Maya Dwaf. Dwaf. <laughs> That's but who's on first? Who's on first? <laughs> Gorbadal, but Dewey Badaz on. No, but who's on, yeah, who's on second? I don't know. You know he's on third. I don't know who's on third. So <laughs> I think that Lopez earned her money just for saying the guy's name and we yeah. should leave her alone. Yeah. Um, well, listen, it's an easy one for her. 1.4, she knows that she's doing something a little naughty. She goes over, you sing the song, and then you do the, uh, the pro forma apology, and you're out with 1.4. I mean, for <laughs> God's sakes, I, you'd do it in a second. But once again, I, I love it when people on the left or people in Hollywood always act like they're super astute about political affairs whenever they're, you know, in, in a reflective or an echo chamber. They always act like they know about it. And then later you, you say, hey, did you know Turkmenistan's head guy is a, is a crazy pig? And you go, I had no idea. No, I, I no thought idea. Turkmenistan was where they made turkey meat. You know, it's like crazy. <laughs> she really didn't. Let's uh, run the tape on Jennifer. Uh, let's see this. It was our pleasure, and we wish you very, very happy this birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. I think she thought she was at Madison Square Garden, you know. With <laughs> well, that's a Billy, Turkmenistan's so unstable, there's a 50-50 shot that by the time they finish the song, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe Jennifer Lopez, when she said she had no idea who the guy was, and I don't even think she knew where she was, but she did know she was making 1.4 mil. Last word, Miller. It's China time, Jake. I give up. The world's gone mad. Whatever anybody wants, I got my pod face on. I have turned down, though, their offer for you and I to appear at the next <laughs> birthday for uh, the, the dictator. <laughs> We're not going. We're performing at J-Lo's birthday. Did I tell you? Oh, that's excellent. And if you.